Hi there. A few weeks ago I uploaded this video where I took a very dark image from this to this using Lightroom Classic. I've seen Luminar Neo get quite a few mentions lately and I thought it was time I gave it a try. So I watched a couple of videos, just enough to give me the basics, and I had a little play around with it and I thought it'd be an interesting exercise to rework the same image using Luminar to see how it compared. And spoiler alert, I'm seriously impressed. Stick around and I'll walk you through the editing process that I used. So for editing in Luminar Neo, I have the option to open the image directly in Luminar Neo and have access to all of the regular raw file conversion options that I have here in Lightroom as well. But I'm going to do it from Lightroom uh, because I don't want to run a second catalog, basically. I want to be able to keep everything in my Lightroom catalog and not have to go out to Luminar to find one version of an image. It just keeps everything a bit tidier. So I'm going to do the raw image conversion part first of all in Lightroom because once I go in to Luminar Neo, it's going to come in as a TIFF file and I'm not going to be able to have access to things like color temperature and tint. Uh, so let's get that done first of all. I'm going to bring the exposure up. I always expose to protect the highlights, but I think I was a little bit overcautious with this image here. So I can go maybe 0.75 of a stop without losing anything. I pull the highlights down. I'm going to bring the shadows up. And in fact, I can, I can bring that exposure up a little more even now. Now, next thing is color temperature and tint. Uh, I want to try and keep the bit of blue in the sky because it'll contrast well with the orange of the sun. So although I could warm it up and I did when I did the just initial Lightroom conversion, I'm going to see if I can keep it and keep that bit of color contrast going. But I might take the tint up a little because you do get a sort of a slightly magenta color in the, around dawn or before dawn. So let's just take that to about there. And uh, I think that's as much as I want to do. I may, I may take the whites up slightly. I'm just, I'm just concerned about losing detail in the sun if I do too much. Maybe if I do that, I'm back off on the exposure. Okay, now let's go from here into Lunar Neo. So I right click, I go to edit in, Luminar Neo. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. So when the image opens up in Luminar Neo, it opens up in this window with all the presets on the right hand side. But I want to use the edit options. So we're going to click here. And it takes a moment and it comes in. And now we have all of these different sections. Favorites, essentials, creative, portrait and professional. So I'm going to use the AI features of Luminar Neo. I'm going to click into the enhance and just pull up the accent. And straight away, you can see it opens up the shadows, improves the contrast. And if I use the sky enhancer, that just works in the sky only and again brings out extra contrast. And from here, I think we might go down to the bottom to the super contrast. And we can play around with the highlights, midtones, and shadows. Let's start off with the midtones. Um, bring that up, and again, it's bringing in more saturation. And if we play one with the balance, we can see I can open up the shadows a little bit there. If we go to the highlights contrast, it's bringing up a lot of extra saturation into this, the area of the sun. Uh, if I push the balance to the right or the left, I can vary the effect of that. So. I think it takes a little bit to the right house there. And the shadows contrast, we can open up the shadows a little bit by doing that. Now, one of the things that has happened is that the area on the rocks here uh, has become a little bit muddy looking and there's a bit of a flare spot showing up there as well. So let's go back into the develop section and this time I click in on the masking and let it run its AI masking. I'm going to select what it has identified as mountains which I presume is the rocks and if we go into adjustments you can maybe bring the shadows down a little bit there 
highlights down and the blacks and whites take the black down a little bit because it was well, it is a kind of a complete silhouette from here I think it would be nice to add a bit of a vignette around the edges to concentrate the eye in on the center of the scene so we'll just drag that down to about there we can play around with the size a little bit just wanted sort of a gradual darkening on the edges and if I go in on the advanced settings there's an inner light slider which can bring up the brightness of the inner section of it okay from here I might go to color and bump the saturation a little bit if it's getting a little bit too much in the orange I can go into the HSL section and from the little drop down there choose saturation slide back the saturation on the yellow and the orange I don't want to lose the effect of the sunrise but I don't want it to look too much I might have a little look at the luminance take the luminance down on the yellow oh that's causing it to break up ever so slightly on the orange as well and there we have it. I'm going to hit apply and that can bring us back out into Lightroom. And here we are back in Lightroom. I'm going to just copy the crop from my original edit onto this image so that we can see the difference between the two of them side by side. And there we have it. Two very, very different versions of the same image. The one on the left is the Luminar Neo version and the one on the right is the Lightroom version. I think I prefer the, the Luminar version. I like the, the color contrast that gives you just, I think, more of a sense of depth in the image. It feels like there's more of a 3D feel to it. Uh, be very interested to hear what you think in the comments. Uh, I'm completely new to Luminar Neo, so I may have done things completely wrong, but uh, I'd be very interested to, from anyone, to hear from anyone that has uh, better, more experience in it. So what do you think? As I said earlier, I'm seriously impressed with the results I got as a complete newbie using the software. Would it replace Lightroom for me? No, I have a huge catalogue with thousands of already edited images, so Luminar would have to fit in with that. So I'd see myself primarily using it as a plug-in rather than as a standalone product. Though for some images, I might start off in Luminar rather than Lightroom if I wanted to be able to go back and change my edits. And this comparison is a little bit unfair as the colour settings are completely different. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if I've got stuff wrong, <laughs> let me know as well. Always learning, that's the whole thing with photography. Mm -hmm.